Good evening to you at home. I'm Nate Rogers outside of CPD's 11th District, where we're hearing from the family of this, this guy, Mr. Dexter Reed. We heard from his parents, as well as his attorneys. His attorneys say that these were tactical officers in plain clothes and that they were driving an unmarked SUV before this traffic stop occurred. I want you to take a look at video from the press conference earlier today. The family speaking with the media, Reed's loved ones addressing reporters this afternoon after Copa releasing that police body camera footage. They're asking for Mayor Brandon Johnson and Chief Larry Snelling to disband these tactical units that they say, the family says, have been terrorizing communities on the city's south and west sides. They're also calling on the state's attorney for criminal indictments against the officers involved. Now, a little bit more about Dexter Reed. He's 26 years old, previously a basketball standout at Westinghouse High School here on the city's west side. He, in fact, led the team to a regional championship, loved ones tell us. They say he loved basketball and cooking and wanted to be a broadcaster. Here's what his mom said at today's press conference. He had just bought his new car three days before that, and he was just riding around in his car. He said, Mom, go for a ride. And they killed him. They killed him. They killed him. They killed him. So, killed him. Uh, Dexter got out of his car unarmed and was shot by the police. Based on the COPA report that you all received this morning, 96 rounds were fired by these officers. Now, we must also share with you that we did see in that video that Copa released um, a video of what appeared to be a gun laying in the seat of the car. Now, back out here live, you also are looking at police barricades that streets in San Cruz just dropped off and set up. We also know that police are standing by as within the next two hours or so, various active activist groups will arrive here outside of the 11th district um, to protest in favor of this family calling for justice for Dexter Reed. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story and keep you updated on air and online in the city's west side. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago.